FCT administration don't set to stop movement of KK starting from Wednesday. Appeal court don't confirm the election of Sheyi Makinde as governor for Oyo State. Boko Haram don't release one pastor and school girl with them be kidnapped inside Borono State. Kano police don't grab officers sick of the death of one suspect for their custody. My people, on a good afternoon this afternoon, and thank you, say so you join us for As It Take Happen. My name, Na Na Douglas. And for the first story, the Federal Capital Territory Administration, they insist, say, they go stop the operations of tricycle riders, who everybody know as KK Na Pep, within the FCT. This new transport policy go start tomorrow, will be Wednesday. When I fit remember, say, on Monday, KK riders, operators of tri or Tricycles inside Abuja come out to do one with no go green worker. On top, this one will be said government through the Federal Capital Territory Administration won't ban their movement. For the protests, then threatening say they go carry the matter, go National Industrial Court of Nigeria to fight for their rights. But the Obongo question be say, this one will be said FCT administration won't ban KK Napep drivers, say make they know they operate. Nigerians come to ask the question whether they don't provide other means of transport for Nigerians. But as it be now, our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, John Emmanuel, they for streets of Abuja to, you know, talk to the people on how they react on top of this matter. John, good afternoon. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon, Douglas. Yes, um, yes uh, on top I, the... Yeah, yeah, I did for Greki, we are the headquarters of Matomoras, that one are the, uh, the association of Kekena Pep riders. And uh, before, if you come to this place, you go see Kekena Pep plenty for here. Now, most of the city on this strike, the strike where they start yesterday, and it's still continuing to today. As I talk to you now, the official of Natomoras, they meet with the FCT minister. They define a way where they will carry address this matter of how they won't carry ban them from the streets of uh, of Abuja. Then the team speak them for Belad. So, and as I stand here, I stand here with a face of due, where we say, now I'm the uh, assistant financial secretary of the association. Um, he talks, uh, before we talk, he be the tell me, say, so they get agreement with the way they don't tell them before, say, see how they won't carry rich uh, uh, before they go ban them. So they will give them enough time. But by no use my mouth, conclude what they talk, uh, making talk to us directly. Uh, first of all, what will be the uh, thing where they go on now between your people and uh, the official of FCTA? FC so actually, now they are in the FCT minister, they are discussing with the SA of the minister. For now, we don't know the actual reason that come to arresting our members. But yesterday we heard that they are going to arrest our members. In the morning, the BIO and the FCD, FCDA, they just come to starting arresting our members. From there, we say we are going to take a strike so that in order to know our importance in FCT. We know really the commuters, those that are entering KK from different areas, they are benefiting from the KK. Many people, they are benefiting from the KK. That is why we just say that since there is such issues like that, they have to give us ample, ample time so that we can look forward. We have met them severally. They are not make any things on the ground. They are just starting arresting our members. We don't know the reason why they are starting arresting our members. Are we not Nigerians? When we are Nigerians, we are looking for something that we can survive. Up to now, not just like me now, I'm graduate. I don't have anything to do except to work with the KKNFF. So what are the reasons why, uh, what are the issues on the ground? We don't know the issues from them. They're saying that they don't want to see us in some certain areas. We don't know why. Before, from 2009, 2011, they are giving us a certain areas that they are not allowed us to enter. But from there, we ban ourselves from that place. So for now, they just come to say they are not seeing us from here to here to here. We don't know the reason why. We need to know the reason. Okay, okay. well, I don't hear what you face do the talk. You know, they tell us how... The thing they pay them, so they don't understand why these people don't give them. Uh, they don't be talk, they don't meet up with the argument where they get. Now, not only face are they here. I get uh, some passengers where they here as well. Then they tell us, say, so, say it's no easy. Uh, see one passenger, we want enter care, okay, but see don't they? They wait because they talk. Officials say they go provide buses for them. They say, see what they do they face as passengers. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Ali. Uh, how much? Definitely, I'm one of the passengers that used to enter Kenya. 
definitely Kekena Pepe is giving us a lot of help, especially the workers, the market, and the business, the business people, and both of the students. If you look at it, Kekena Pepe the easy transport which you can pay 30 naira, 50 naira, 20 naira to go to your destination. You understand, but now that it's okay, Kekena Pepe, if governments you say they are going to ban the Kekena Pepe, how are we going to do as a Nigeria? We voted this government. We need something that will we, we, we make Nigeria better, we make our life better, we the masses and we the business and both the students and whatever something else. We we'll don't expect this from this government, especially especially FCT minister. We need something good for Nigeria to make Nigeria better. We have not seen anything. We have not seen anything. You can have you are going to go instead of paying fifty naira or seventy naira, you will end up paying hundred naira. Where's the benefit? They are putting a lot of strength into the in the ordinary Nigerians. Okay, John. Like we, we don't know what we can tell the government. Are we to impress the government or are we to kick against them? We don't even know. FCT minister, we are expecting you to do something okay, thank you, John, to for Nigeria that so that we can appreciate what the FCT minister are trying to do. Like especially uh, Nasu Erufai when he came to Minister of Abuja. When he left now, many people are appreciating the coming of uh, Nasru Erufai as an FCT minister because they are the one that provide this kind of people in Nigeria for a common Nigeria for we to go to our work, go to school, go to so many places. But if this FCT minister can come and do something work like this, we don't think there's something good coming up. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I so you know, hear how they, they express their uh, their anger, their vex. Say this is not for for Belak. So uh, before now. Well, earlier we will come, we see one or two buses, we will come here, say we won't come carry passengers, but the buses don't stay for too long, and now passengers full street, where they wait for means, where they will carry transport themselves to where they won't go. Okay, Maybe thank you, thank you John for that uh, update on the reactions of people for the one we'll be say, the one ban this KK. Um, that one, uh, our Tory person will be John Emmanuel, where they uh, get reactions of people for the one we'll be say, the one ban KK by the FCTA administration. So uh, for the next story, the, national, the Independent National Electoral Commission talks say they don't make cajad arrangement with boat owners and transport unions to make sure, say, the November 16 election inside Bayelsa and Kogi State no get comma or even full stop. Rotimi Oyekomi will be the chief press secretary CPS to Ainek Chamo Mahmoud Yakubu, now confirming to this one on Monday for one special interview with Wazobia Max TV Tory person Fidel Osegale inside Abuja. It talks say INEC been done sign one agreement paper with the two unions to make sure say every of the election worker for the two states go according by plan. Make we hear him. To give us gunboats to protect these uh, boats that we convey materials and personnel, we need gunboats in front and at the back uh, because of uh, peculiar reasons that is known to, to all Nigerians. And for Kogi, essentially, the transport unions, uh, we have made arrangements with them as well. Uh, we have memorandum of understanding with individual uh, vehicle owners to help us transport our materials and personnel. And I think that with the arrangement in place, uh, there will be no story about payments. Oye Komi Tok say, the commission been done meet with everybody where the election consigned and all these people where Oyibo they call stakeholders. Don Kukumas will say, then go cooperate on top of the level and fight, uh, and fight no go day at all. We have shared information about risky areas and less volatile areas. And then the, the security agency will provide enough personnel to tackle this, these things. And let me also say this. Uh, in, at the stakeholders meeting that we had in Bayelsa, for instance, first in Kogi, we had two, for the first time in the history of governorship elections, we are having two stakeholders meeting uh, for, for, for these elections. We have had uh, two stakeholders meeting already in Bayelsa. In Kogi, we had one some weeks ago, and we are going back tomorrow, Tuesday, to conclude the second one. And both meetings have been very good, and part of what we discuss at length is the issue of security. And we had the political actors given an undertaking that they will conduct themselves peacefully and that there will be no violence, both in Kogi and Baesa. We are encouraged by that. For our own side, Chamo of one election joint body, where they make sure say election day pure, 
partners for electoral reform, as in one go, say, as for him, he won't make security people for the election no show partiality. So make them show say they submit their work and make them guide against vote buying. 33,000 or thereabout policemen deployed to Kogi and by Elsa to close to about 60,000 of security agents going to be working in that election. I, I want to see how professional they can be. I want to see how neutral. I want to see how impartial they can be. If they are and if they are not, it's going to have very serious consequences of the elections. I want to see how INEC officials, that is the electoral officers in the local government and their supervisors, how professional, how neutral, and how competent they will be in the election. If they are and if they are not, it will have consequences for the outcome of the elections. I want to see how the voters behave. I'm concerned about vote buying and vote trading. An informator would, would not receive talks say they don't clear 45 political parties to contest the governorship election inside Bayelsa, just as 23 parties now then go follow due election inside Kogi State. Meanwhile, group of activists, that is, people where they fight for the right of their fellow country people, talk say they go do anything, everything within their own power to make sure, say, then secure the release of the brain behind the Revolution Now movement and publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omoyele Showere and Olawale Bakare on Tuesday. On top one talk paper, we'll be saying that Deji Adeyonju, Lanre Legacy, and Sanyolu Juwon join hand sign. The activist talk say Department of State Services, DSS, know they show respect for the rights of Showere and Bakare as they continue to they keep them for detention even though court don't give order say, make them release two of them for bail. The activist talk say, they go show face for DSS headquarters today, will be November 12th to receive Showery and Bakari. But right now, our correspondent, Abayomi Akimbola, day for the venue of the protest, as he go give us what they happen there right now. Abayomi, good afternoon this afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. And uh, what you go fit tell us about the latest what they happen for the area. Good afternoon, Douglas. Yeah. So give us update. Update. President, well, I, I I can't hear you very well, but uh, presently now we did very close to the office. The protesters and of course the activists, all of them they here. But the DSS no go allow us even move further than this. As we see them, they drive up and down. Even they tell us, say, oh, no move closer. But what happened, they say, on Saturday when people come, say, may they come, receive show, you know, on Friday, the SS talk say they don't see anybody. People come from uh, collect show. So on Saturday, the people will come, including the, the, the judge, you know, say they come, and the they tell them, say, and make them forget about show. They say they even offer them money, say, make them just forget for now about show. So now, what you don't tell us be that. But presently, now all of us still there here, yeah, we're still trying to say more, move forward towards the DSS request for uh, the release of uh, show. Now, what you have to be that. Okay, now you talk to me. You go see placards for their hand, they, they see all of them. Now we don't move towards the place to see if they go really show it to them. Okay, thank you, Abayomi, for that update on top of uh, the detention of Showere and Bakari for that level. Thank you. Uh, still on politics, Court of Appeal with a seat for Ibadan don't confirm, say, true, true, now, Mr. Sheyi Makinde of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, now win the election as governor of Oyo State. The court can't agree with the decision of the governorship election petition tribunal who have been done declare Governor Makinde as winner of the March 9 election as all the judges for the case agree on top of this one. And now Justice Abubakar Yahaya delivered the judgment on Monday. In no get as it be, as in dismiss the appeal where candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adebayo Adelabu bring come appeal court. Justice Yaya, the lead judge for the four-man panel talk, say, even though he agree with the tribunal, then disagree with, despite, say, the, the paper, the paper will be, say, the APC people bring, say, they no chook eyes for the matter well, well. He talk, say, the paper where APC bring, suppose guide the tribunal to really touch light the case, even as he talk, say, they no look into the matter well. 
And from there, make we enter Kano. Four policemen were then attached to Madobi police station inside the state. Don't they undergo question and answer segment? Sick of say they accused them for torture of one 26 years old suspect will later lead to in death. Police been declared the victim Abdul Kadir Nasiru wanted after one gang fight for one neighborhood. Police been try arrest the suspected gangster, but the arrest been no get head. We make the father of the victim using hand carrying picking give police people. Big trouble can start when hot arguments start between the policemen and the suspect. Wazobia Max TV correspondent Dumebi Odimegu. And the matter now, many Nigerians on the ask question. Many Nigerians on the say, what did they happen on top of this one? Say, the father of the boy, bring the, mat, uh, bring the boy, say, okay, make them do justice. But nobody say, he bring and come meet police, make them kill him. But again, according to the report, what they receive, say, the boy, as we they talk now, he don't kaput on top of the torture, although the accusation until court prove everything. But again, make we join our person for Kano to give us more update on that one. Hello, um, Odumegu, Dumebi, how are you doing? I don't find it. Yes, on top of this uh, story, we know Sweet Belay again about the torture of 126-year-old with the police uh, suspect. What do you go tell us about the updates for the matter? Yes, uh, the latest thing for that update, is, uh, I don't follow the family state police for support this at all. The person of the United States is having a flower. Because from a point of view, the police officer basically has their hands to them with a set, they have been busy and they've been busy. So right now, people are just for inside elderly women, for inside the police station, so they've been inside the police station. So one of the things they've been inside the police station, the police station, the service, and the police station, the local staff, the police station, the police station, the police station, the police station. But any of which will be any any of the Sarah Ye, Little Governor, Little Commons, Cosmic, Little Police, any of the people who want to have the investigation and investigation, they see whether they see the end of the police is the end of this one. Okay, Dumebi, thank you for that update you give us from uh, the Kano, the ancient city of northern Nigeria. And from Kano, make we move to Kaduna State. Another disturbing story from Kaduna talks say people were carry gun with them suspects say they be kidnappers, don't kidnap two lecturers inside the state. According by report, this one happened for Mahuta community of Igabi local government area inside the state. Although, as at the time where the report landed for our table, the Kaduna State Police Command never still confirmed the badness. The two people were then kidnapped, so now blood brothers from Zuru Emirate for KB State. Talk talk person for the KB State Indigenous Association inside Kaduna State, Garaba Mohamed, now confirmed the kidnap on Monday. He gave the names of the two lecturers, Weden Gbapso, as Dr. Adamu Chinoko of the Department of Agriculture for the Amadou Bello University, Zaria, and Dr. Umar Chinoko of the Department of Microbiology for the Kaduna Polytechnic. Garba Talk say their families don't contact the anti-kidnapping unit of the State Police Command, sake of the matter, so that rescue operation will sharply begin. And from that bad news, make we enter good news. One 58-year-old man, Moses Oyeleke, and one school girl, Ndagilia Ibrahim Omar, as it be, Boko Haram don't release them from captivity as they don't rejoin with their families. The report talks say, now two local, uh, two local non-governmental organizations, that is NGO, Khartoum Foundation for Peace, an initiative for peace-building movement, now then negotiate for their release after they negotiate for many weeks. Oyeleke, been there, been there with Boko Haram prison, for seven months, and the school girl don't spend nine months with them. Then kidnap Oyeleke will be pastor with Living Faith Church, Meduguri, alongside one core member, Abraham Amuta, for April 2019. When they, when they go to Chibok local government area of Borno State with charity materials where the church donate. But the team be say, they never still release the core member. As for Ndagilia, the school girl, then kidnap her inside school for Askira Uba local government area, along with her sister and some other people who still there with Boko Haram as we still they talk so. The Borno State Deputy Governor, Usman Kadafur, nine received the two people when they release as they don't hand it over to their families for inside government house. My people will now see the watch as it take happen on top of Zobia Max TV. Will they come back with business news? Mm -hmm. 
In business news, the federal government talks save revenue from non-oil sector, that is other sector where they bring money where no be oil, it don't rise from 1.36 trillion naira inside the third quarter of 2019. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, now they reviewed this one for, for their third quarter economic report. The CBN talks say, not oil revenue gross will be 1.36 trillion naira, don't rise past the quarterly budget of 1.34 trillion naira by 1.4%. The con act say, it rise above the level for the preceding quarter by 28.0%. The report talks say the higher non-oil revenue were they relative to the quarterly budget now because of increase on top corporate tax and improvement on top the collection of money where Nigerian customs service do. The report talks say the gross oil revenue will be 1.34 trillion naira or 49.6% of the total money where they receive they below the quarterly budget by 44.6%, but they above the one where they receive before now by 9.9%. And from that business news, we will come back with sports, no go anywhere. <music> and on top sports, head, head coach chair of the national under 23 team, Imama Amapakabo, believes say, hope still day, even though they lose their first game against Cote d'Ivoire, as the Olympic Eagles don't set to play the Junior Chipolopolo of Zambia for the AFCON Under-23 tournament where they happen now for Egypt. Amapa Kabo yanned this one during pre-match conference where happened on Monday for the Al Salam Stadium for Cairo. He talks a Team Ivory Coast, they cajured but hopes still there for them. When he took him out for the matter, Olympic Eagles midfielder Sanusi Ibrahim Konde Ginger say it they possible say they go beat Zambia for the next game will be today. The Olympic Eagles need win against Zambia inside the Al Salem Stadium to keep their hope to continue for next year's men Olympic football tournament alive. My people, now the story be that, but before we go, make we tell Una waiting do our first story. Waiting bring up our first story. FCT administration don't set to stop movement of KK. That is, they don't want they won't ban KK from Wednesday will be tomorrow. RP court don't confirm the election of Sheyi Makinde as governor for Oyo State. Boko Haram people don't release one pastor and one school girl where they've been kidnapped inside Borono State. And Kano police don't grab officers sick of the death of one suspect where they for their custody. Now so the Tory take happened today. From all of us here, we say thank you, say you join us. My name, Na Na Douglas. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.